Good morning. It's that time again. It's time for the plan with me in my Penny Weeks planner. Look at this cute little Oli Block magnet. Okay, so this is a small. All right, isn't this adorable? Okay, when I expected small, I didn't expect this small, but it's super cute. Okay, super cute. I don't know why I started my video that way. That was kind of weird. I don't normally start my videos that way. And you guys know this. So we're just going to go with it. So this is a kit from Craft Penguin Planner. I'm going to use this freebie and this sampler. It was very themed from January or February. If you guys watched my plan with me, I did in my classic happy planner. Did I do it in my, no, I put it in my B6. So there is no video, but in my B6, I used, nope, never mind. I used the freebie. If you spent a certain amount, you got a freebie kit basically. And it was basically a kit that is very similar to this one, but not foiled. So, got plenty of correction tape. <clears throat> this one I'm gonna make sure I put it on the outer edge. And it's hollow foil. And I believe this kit is still available in her shop. So I'm going to do this. These boxes are slightly bigger than, maybe not, maybe just a skosh bigger. But we're going to do this. And this says, sorry, it's messing with me. The darkest nights produce the brightest stars. And that's going to go, we'll put that, we'll put that in the very beginning. Oh yeah, these, we could actually, I will need a Scotia Whiteout. I really love how like almost minimalist my PR planner is. It's very, there's very few things that are in there, in here. And it is nice. Now, these boxes, like this was not made for the Penny Weeks. So you're going to see that the, the it's just slightly teeny, 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 weeny bit small. But if you line it up right, it is good to go. Oops, that one I didn't line up quite right, but I wasn't as careful because I thought I had it. So it is Sunday, the Sunday before this goes up. It's so weird because Melissa wasn't in the TPC sale in August and she took August off from sales because she's getting, she got her site, her shop ready to go live on Shopify, which BEPDshop.com, use Stephanie 20, save 20%. She has some of uh, she's well not some she's got quite a few of her fall kits up already how do I want to yeah I bumped it all the way up so she has quite a few of her fall kits already up she just reformatted her apple picking kit so that's available and she's going to be releasing some hand drawn kits you guys so I can't wait for you to see 
or hand-drawn kits. She sneaked <clears throat> um, one of the boxes that she was drawing. Nope. And let me tell y'all, like, it's going to be cool. I think it's cool. I'm definitely going to pick it up when she has it live in her shop. And I think you guys will appreciate it too. Anyone who likes true crime, I think will appreciate it. And I love it when shops have hand-drawn or, you know, just, or different clip art because a lot of shops you'll see once a popular shop puts out a kit with certain clip art, you'll start seeing it pop up in like every, every sticker shop. And I get it. I, I do. Trust me. I do get it. Um, because sticker shops want to, you know, stay up with the trends and stay popular and so they want all the popular kits so it's so refreshing when I see a shop that does hand-drawn there's a couple shops that I love um the penny pages all of her kits are are hand-drawn um, inspire ever after I want to say all if not almost all of her kits are all hand-drawn keep it simple stickers her characters are hand-drawn and she's starting to put more hand-drawn kits in her shop so she has a good mix of clip art and hand-drawn who else who else who else marshmallow studios does hand-drawn shine sticker studio does hand-drawn sweet kawaii design those are all her designs so i you know and and like i said i i have nothing against a shop that does clip art but i'd love to see I, I I do enjoy seeing how shops do things differently with their clip art. Um, Planner Pixie Co. She does clip art, and I, I I I like her I like her kits. So I have purchased some of her kits, and so I've got nothing against clip art. I, I don't. I promise you, I don't. And I know it is not easy to do hand-drawn. I mean, I can't draw to save my life. So, I mean, I could draw stick figures. Like, if you want a kit with stick figures, you know, I could probably help you out. But, oops. But I can't, I, 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 I don't, I don't draw. So, and I, and I know it's difficult. I do. Trust me, I do. But it's nice when you see shops outside of the box. Oh, I laid that really crooked. Oh. We're just going to have to pretend like we don't notice it's crooked. I'm going to save these habit trackers because I don't really put habit trackers if I if if there's no space for it in this um, in this planner, so I will put that away, and I don't need that extra full box, so I will put that away too. I preloaded this because I wanted to test out my new clear stickers. Now the Gen font Melissa does offer custom Gen fonts in her shop now check it out under new releases she, you can get them on the white mat or the clear mat so how are you guys i'm feeling good i'm getting lots done I recently got a B on his paper, and honestly, I am bummed about it, but I read through her, her notes, and while I wish 
I could feel like the B wasn't justified after reading her notes. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. So I'm going through and I'm trying to work on doing edits. And these bows are from Sticky Sloth Designs, which she will be having her sale. Actually, when you see this video, this video is going to go up Wednesday the 12th. And her sale, I believe, starts the, it's either the 13th or 14th. So check out, oops, sorry, check out Sticky Sloth Designs on Instagram or her Facebook group for details on the sale. Um, I will put a link down below for Sticky Sloth. Because she is closing her shop up. I know, I know. You're, you're as shocked as I am. I know. I am completely shocked. Now these Facebook icons are from Craft Penguin Planner. Once I use these up, I will be using my brand new Facebook post scripts from BEPD shop that I'm super excited about. Super excited. Now normally I will do another BEPD shop post on Fridays because I'm when she's in the TPC sale I post on Fridays in the TPC but she hasn't been but I'm gonna wait to see if the PR girl that's supposed to post on Fridays in the BPD shop group posts. Cause if she does, then I won't. Cause I don't want to be, I don't want to be too like too inundated with posting. You know what I mean? Oops. Oops. My pocket's coming up. I gotta squish that. Squish it down. Squish it down. See? Gotta weaken. Look at look at my pretty scripts. Look at that. YouTube. Oh, my Facebook one's not in here. Yes, they are. Right there. Ha ha ha. If you didn't watch my haul video. It's all in my haul video. I put a pocket on the front and a pocket in the back with all of my main scripts that I use. Okay. Let's see. Honestly, this is everything that I know for sure I want to pre-plan for the week of August 10th through the 16th. Oh, yep. So anything that I don't use left over next week will go. See, deluxe sampler of February TPC sale will get used for my PP weeks. So, so there's that. This is what I've got pre-planned for next week. Don't have a whole lot going on. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.